It's Pilates time! Are y'all cooking? Hold on. Look at my outfit. Do I not look like a Pilates princess? Don't look at the socks. I need more high rise socks. But, ah! 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 ah. I mean, nine times out of ten, I actually, ten times out of ten, twenty times out of ten, I always put my hair up. Please ignore this. My boyfriend boxes, so. <laughs> but anyway, look at the fit. Honestly, look at the body, to be honest. I feel like it's really snatching me up. Focus on me. F -f Focus on me. There we go. Look at this body. Look at this Pilates body. Yeah, I need more high socks. I ran out. Damn, why is this one so much higher? Hold on. Whatever. I need more high socks. I ran out because that really adds to the Pilates fit. Yes, I know that this is white and this is cream. Get over it. Okay, this is the best I have right now. Sometimes I feel like if you have the outfit, it makes you work harder. Let's go. Thank you to Shein for sponsoring today's video. You can use my code Tati for an extra 15% off the entire Shein site. Another 45 seconds here where you're at. Find your concrete. Yeah, it's a Nola joke. In 15 seconds, high plate extension. You think it's a little closer? Yes. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. I'm going to bring my feet. That's preference. Whichever feels it into your posture, your chain. So back of the body. Specific. Yeah, from there, you'll step a leg out. <laughs> oh yeah. It stopped recording like mid class, but y'all get the gist. First of all, I be trying to look cute sometimes. Cause I'm like, you know, this is your time, like look cute, girl. The makeup, girl. Honestly, it's not that bad. What motivates me to even get up and go is some sort of reward right the reward that i like to give myself is um a good good robex smoothie like that really does it for me and you know that's real progress for me because i'm still an avid snacker but better than i was like i used to go crazy like food was really a comfort thing for me i think you trick yourself into thinking that it's not that unhealthy that's been a thing for me for a while and i think i was just sad when i was younger like to be honest and that was just my way of feeling like i don't know happy <laughs> or like even in therapy we talked about like just you know anxiety and just like needing to feel like safe and you know in control of something and i think snacks is like something that you know i'm completely in control of because i can choose what i want to eat i can choose how much i want to eat it i can do the whole nine and it just brought me the endorphins i was probably lacking <laughs> at the time um so yeah we're trying to unlearn that so my reward for working out is now a robex smoothie because it still satisfies my like sweet tooth and i really don't have a sweet tooth in the way of candy that's really never been my thing um more so like chocolate right like chocolate and like salt you know like or butter i enjoy those type of snacks so the smoothie that i get from robex is like it's called the 800 pound gorilla and it has protein which is good for after my workouts but it also has banana it has chocolate it has like a bunch of that type of stuff in it and it tastes really good for me so healthy alternative it's tough it's tough it's tough but holding myself accountable to doing the things that i say i'm gonna do is a form of self-love and self-care too i think we think that self-love and self-care is just like oh a bubble bath or you know affirmations but self-love is also loving yourself enough to do what you say you're gonna do self-love is also loving yourself enough to say like discipline like you know loving yourself enough to be disciplined because you know that you deserve the things that you desire it's about discerning like when you need to say you know what i know i had this scheduled for today but you know i need a rest day and knowing when to say i know i had this scheduled today so i'm gonna do this today you know it's a sunday I could be laying in the bed. I really wanted to lay in the bed. You know, I'm pretty anxious today. I wanted to take care of myself, but I also knew that I wanted to go to this class today. I took myself during peak traffic time at that, and now I'm going to get a smoothie because I love myself and I need to take better care of myself in whatever way 
that looks like. Love you guys. Ugh, I got the ring light on and everything. And everything! And it's a new ring light, but the funny part is, I'm gonna show y'all after. I ordered this ring light. It's just the regular, regular, newer one. But, it didn't come with the stand. So I have it like tilted up against a little fixture in here. But like, we're just selling the light by itself. I wanted to try on clothes with y'all because another part of becoming a better is, you know, upgrading our wardrobe and, you know, that's what I want to do. That doesn't mean that it has to be like super expensive. Like upgrading your wardrobe can also be affordable. It can just be trying new things or I don't know, girl, just playing around. So I got a big box from Shein. Basically, Shein is like supporting up and coming designers and stuff, which I think is awesome. So I chose from Shein X Extent. I'll put it on the screen. And I also chose from Shein X Chiasmo. Chiasmo? I don't know. But I chose from those two um, because I thought they were placed. Let's look at it. Let's start with you. This one is from the Shein X Chiasmo. Giving like business chic, like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like summer business. I would probably put it over my shoulders. You know what I mean? Same thing with the coat, except like trenchy vibes. It's the pink satin on the inside for me. I feel like, ugh, I'm about to. Oh, this one is so cute. I'm trying to think what I would pair with. I can pair with like a little frilly skirt. I have a little frilly pink skirt. Ooh, I'm thinking. I'm gonna look at Shein X Extent. Wait, y'all found this too. Forgot to show you, but yeah, this is the set. This is the one, okay? Boom. Now, especially because this jacket has all of this detail on the inside, I would 100% throw it over my shoulders. I'm gonna give Elevated Bougie Girl this year. Like, what is this giving? What? Is this giving? <laughs> what can you tell me? Absolutely nothing. Ooh! And they also had, forgot to show you, matching green pants for that green suit jacket I showed you. I would say this was a successful new wardrobe cop for sure. I think so. It's time for therapy. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I know I got a little funky glasses on today. My right eye used to be really bad when I was younger to the point that I used to have to wear a patch on my left eye to strengthen my right one. And that just was traumatizing. So like never again. Why don't you just have the surgery? Oh no. I can't do that. You know I have anxiety. I have my uh, camera. I was gonna record our session. I just wanna be more comfortable like watching our sessions back so that I can okay. kind of replace myself in it without having to wait the week. So okay. I'm gonna record. I it. love that you do the work. I'm just like, yeah, she comes in working. I'm trying. I, I did not have the greatest week though. And I'm just okay. like, well, damn. I feel like, you know what's crazy? Dante just asked me last night before he went to work. He's like, how's your mental health? And I was like, Honestly, I don't think it's that good. And I don't know why. Because I've still been taking the Pilates classes. Like I've been going, mm -hmm. um, and they are not Pilates, first of all. It's something else, I guess, called Legree. I thought it was the same thing. The whole point mm -hmm. is to like push your muscles to second stage muscle failure so that they can grow back and all this shit. I'm like, didn't know what I signed myself up for, but I like it. It's, it's enjoyable. Okay, it pushes my body and it, it more so pushes me to uh like see my limits i guess because mm -hmm. like they kind of put the pressure on you to try harder like for example if you're doing okay. a plank like on your knees they might be like try on your toes for a second you know what i mean so okay it's it's good for me to go and it's good for me to have a routine like we were talking about but i don't know i just i just thought in my fantasy world i was just gonna start going to these classes all the time and then i was just gonna be better like i was just gonna just be happy and stuff because I'm not in the house all day. I can say mm -hmm. that it helps a little bit, I guess, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm still anxious and I'm just like, I don't know, like I've been anxious about little things this week and I thought I was doing good because, um, let me think about my week. What's today? Today's Friday. Okay, so I thought yes, I was doing right. good because you know, the little thoughts that were coming up, I was trying to manage them. <sighs> but this this was on my mind this morning, still. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'll just talk about it in therapy. I just think, like, 
I don't know. I don't feel like super secure this week. Like I feel like going to the gym is making me more hyper focused on my body and not mm -hmm. the best way. You know what I mean? Like, mm. and it's like, now I'm like looking a little too hard, if that makes sense. Like, so sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, like I love my body. Like sometimes, like sometimes I come home from the gym and I'm like, oh yeah, you look good. And then other times I'm like, ugh, like not the vibe. So I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I know. I'm sorry for just rambling. And it's like, if I'm feeling what they're feeling. Like, I feel like I'm too much of a sponge. Like, I feel like, <sighs> I feel like it's my own anxiety of like, never knowing what to do. Being so fearful to take a step because what if it's a misstep, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. Being so fearful to take a step if it's not so planned out and understood exactly how my foot is gonna place. You know what I mean? Like, that sucks. Like, do bad things happen when you're in control? This is the thing. Mm -hmm. The bad things that have happened in my life, I wouldn't perceive myself to have been in control in those moments. I wouldn't say I was in control because control to me now and I don't know if maybe after that stuff, control to me now equates to alertness of okay. perceived danger. Again, the rug pulled, it was like, even when I thought I was in control, you need to think worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you think you're in control because you're, you're alerting yourself to perceived danger, it's even more dangerous than that. So do you realize how even when you're in perceived control, the feeling is the same feeling whether or not you expect it is the same feeling in the end that you're experiencing but now you're constantly living it day by day because your your body doesn't know that even though it's something that you're thinking that it's not physically happening to so you like my anxiety my anxiety because what you're thinking your body is not saying oh she's just thinking it your body is saying oh this is really what is happening right now so i'm going into fight mode Right. So it's constantly living in that fight, that fight or flight, but that fight or flight mode, but you're in like fight mode constantly. So you're just right. always at a high anxiety. And I'm trying to get you to understand like whether there is control, a lack of control, a lack of knowledge of what it's going to be, or the worst case scenario that you think about, when it does happen, that feeling they like they're parallel because just because you knew the worst case scenario was going to happen didn't change what the experience was emotionally did it um i don't know because i've never been prepared so i wouldn't even know for you if you're prepared is it like there may not be as emotional or response to what is going to yeah, happen. Yeah, maybe it would hurt less. You don't even know what's going on. I really hope y'all can hear this sizzle. Y'all hear it? Ooh! Oh shoot, I marked it. I'm gonna talk to y'all while my food is cooking. Therapy done for the week, girl, that was a lot. This is how I feel. For me, right? Like with the stuff that I do in therapy, it's really about like unlearning what my little girl self is trying to protect me from. It's like that constant anxiety because of that fear of like imminent danger right because i think in my past like i wasn't especially as a child you know that childhood innocence you're not really worried about like the imminent dangers of the world until the world robs you of that innocence right so like once once that happened for me and you know the rug was pulled and it was like oh there was something to be worried about then my little girl self to protect myself from ever feeling that again is constantly worried, right? And that's where that anxiety comes from because it's like, well, if I worry about it before it happens, maybe it'll hurt less. And that's with anything in life. Like any, you could have worry about so many different fields, you know, with anxiety. And so it's just constantly looking for the ball to drop when maybe there's no ball that's gonna drop. Maybe things are just gonna be smooth. Maybe things don't drop or Maybe it's adjusting my relationship with drops. Hold on, let me check this bacon. I think it's about adjusting your relationship with what a drop means, right? Because I think, especially as a child, 
when you know big traumatizing things happen or you know perceived drops it feels like this is now associated with negative right like this is bad like these emotions are negative but to me emotions aren't inherently negative right so sadness isn't always negative there's so many great things that can come out of sadness and happiness is that much more enjoyable when you have felt sadness right and so everything is balanced i saw an analogy once and it was saying it was kind of comparing life to like a heartbeat you know how heartbeats go up and down and up and down and up and down and if it's just straight you know it's a flat line you don't want that and so that's just life and so there is no up without down there's no down without up and so it's just just appreciating the things for what it is and stop not being fearful of perceived downs or perceived drops because what ups may that bring me what new heights may that bring me and i think that's what i'm learning i think i'm just learning not to be uh afraid of drops and changing my relationship with what a drop is and healing the drops that i've felt in my past but anyway i'm healing all right i'm healing y'all i'm healing we're becoming a better therapy is a big part of that for me so <sighs> cooking is another i guess girl